T3N TV Hands-On wird präsentiert von T3N, dem Magazin für Social Media, digitales Business und Webtechnologie. Jetzt Probe lesen! Und gesponsert von Zipgate Mobilfunk. Hey guys, we're still live in Las Vegas from CES and still with Lenovo. With yeah. me is Kevin and he's uh, holding a new product here which is really interesting because yeah. this is bringing everything together that's been happening during the last, let's say, two years in the yep. IT Absolutely. industry. Yep. It's bringing together the Ultrabook, it's bringing together the Netbook, it's bringing together the tablet, it's yep. bringing together Windows 8, it's bringing together Touch, yep. it's bringing together uh, Core i processors and whatnot. Yep. Kevin, tell us about this product. Sure, uh, this is the ThinkPad Helix. And as you said, there are a lot of products in the market, including many by that have multiple modes of functionality, yeah. right? We've got some that are primarily laptops that also function as tablets. Okay. We've got some that are tablets that also have some sort of laptop functionality by adding a keyboard, sure. right? The Helix is the first system where you really have essentially no compromises to get full functionality out of both, yeah. right? So what we've got here, at in as you can see, is a 3.75 pound uh, 20 millimeter Ultrabook, mm -hmm. right? Full size keyboard, full full uh, ThinkPad track point, full touch uh, pad, but we also have something special, which is that I can do this and turn around and pull this out, wow. and all of my processing power is in my slate unit here. Right? Okay. That's what impressive. Can you tell us something about like what's inside the dock and what's inside the tablet? Sure. So what we've got here is your keyboard, uh, docking base, and a four-hour battery. Okay. We have a six-hour battery in the system itself, and unlike any other system that we have seen uh, or we have looked at, the key difference here is that this has a full core i5 or i7 processor, which has a theoretical uh, power consumption limit at its highest functioning yeah. horsepower yeah, level see. of 17 watts. Mm -hmm. Right? Most tablets are never able to take care, take advantage of that because yeah. of the heat that's generated. So when we are separated from the rest of the system, we are operating at nine watts mm -hmm. to keep it cool, quiet, keep the battery life up. Uh, but we've added two extra fans in the base so that when we dump this back together with the base, we're getting full 17 watt core i7 performance. Okay, so no throttling there, nothing. No throttling. Okay. Uh, and then in our other, uh, what we call tablet plus mode, we we call this rip and flip. We can actually pull it out, turn it around, and it emulates the functionality of all the convertible tablets yeah. that have been in the market for the last six or eight years. Because okay. you've still got a lot of corporate customers. Yeah, sure, right? they want to show off something. And right, everything. right. Yeah, they want to show off something, they want to ah, pull it out. There's a stylus too. There's a stylus too. We want to All pull right. this out. You know, if I'm a doctor, uh, I'm an insurance person, yeah. I need to fill out some forms. Okay. Right, so you've got all the modern modes of Windows 8 touch I functionality, see, see. Uh, but it still is a great solution for those people who've been using traditional convertible tablets cool. for years. So the critical thing, how much is it going to cost and when is it going to be available? Uh, $14.99 and it's going to be available in first quarter. Are they going to be different versions because you were talking about i5 and i7 processors? Yes, yes. Okay, so they're going to be available right at launch or coming afterwards? Uh, I believe it'll be i5 at launch and i7 just a little bit later. Okay, thank you yep. so much. You're very welcome.